Now let's take a look at significant figures in calculations. Sig figs in calculations. Remember, there is uncertainty in every measurement, and we saw that. That's why we always write our measurements to the correct number of sig figs. So calculations based on measurements cannot be more precise than the actual measurements. So we're going to take a look at the rules for addition, subtraction, and then for multiplication and division. And you have to keep them straight. So for addition and subtraction, your answer should only be as precise as your least precise measurement. So this only has to do with the decimal point and how many places beyond the decimal point the measurement is taken to. So an example here would be what if we wanted to add 97.3 centimeters to 5.85 centimeters. Now, the 97.3 only goes out to the tenths place, but the 5.85 goes out to the hundredths place. Well, obviously, 97.3 is the least precise measurement. It only goes out to the tenths place. So what we would do, we would add these numbers on our calculator, and our calculator reads 103.15, and it would be centimeters. It doesn't give you the unit on the calculator, but you can only add or subtract like units. But this goes out to the hundredths place. And we can't assume that there is a zero after the three in 97.3. We can only round here to the tenths place because that's the least precise measurement, the 97.3. So we're going to take what we have on the calculator. We're going to look at that five. We're going to round that one up to a two. So out to the tenths place, our answer is going to be 103.2 centimeters. Now, multiplication and division, the rule is your answer has the same number of sig figs as the measurement with the least number of sig figs. So say I wanted to multiply 123 meters by 5.35 meters. Well, I, you can see they're all non-zero digits. So there's three sig figs in each measurement. That means when I multiply them, I should only have three sig figs in my final answer. And also, because it's meter times meter, you know the unit here is going to be meters squared. So if I do this on my calculator, I get 658.05 meters squared. Problem is, this has five sig figs. I can only put my answer to three sig figs. So instead of 658.05, the correct answer will be 658 meters squared. All right, well now, what if you're adding or subtracting in scientific notation? So I'm going to teach you, in case you don't have a, sci uh, a scientific calculator, how to figure it out. But also, when you're adding or subtracting, it's very important if you want to figure out sig figs that you have like exponents. So when adding or subtracting numbers in scientific notation, there must be like exponents to add or subtract the coefficients and to determine the number of sig figs in your answer. So the examples, now if you look at that one, 6.3 times 10 to the 8 meters plus 1.2 times 10 to the 8 meters. Now, I don't know if you've learned this before, but if you do have like exponents and you're adding, all you have to do is just add the coefficient values. And if we want to follow the sig fig rules, we can see they both go out to the tenths place. So our when we go to add, we'd go out to the tenths place. Now for this one, when you're subtracting, once again here, we have like exponents. So if we wanted to subtract and we didn't have a graph or a scientific or a graphing calculator, it's pretty easy. All you're going to do is subtract the 4.2 from the 8.7 and then just put times 10 to the negative 3. And both of these go out to the tenths place, so our coefficient would go out to the tenths place. But what about if you have a number like 3.65 times 10 to the 3 meters plus 2.75 times 10 to the 4 meters? Here you don't have like exponents. So yeah, I could do this on my calculator, plug it in using my EE key, but the problem is I wouldn't have the correct number of sig figs. So what you do in this case is you always, this is the way I do it, is I always take the number, like in this case times 10 to the 3, I always raise it up to the higher exponent, and times 10 to the 4 is the higher exponent. So to do that, to make this times 10 to the 4, I'm going to move this decimal place one more spot to the left. So it would have to move one more spot to the right when I write it as times 10 to the 4. 
are. Well, we're going to come right back to that. So let's take a look. I have the answers for the top two examples. So for the first one, we get 7.5 times 10 to the 8 meters. And for the second one, when we do the subtraction of the coefficients, we get 4.5 times 10 to the negative 3 meters. All right, so now for this third example, I'm going to rewrite that first number with times 10 to the 4, so I have to write my coefficient as 0 0.365. So now I have like exponents. This coefficient, though, goes out three decimal places. This coefficient goes out two decimal places. So when I go to, to give my final answer, my coefficient value can only go out two places. So let's first do the math. Let's just add the coefficients, see what we get. When we add the coefficients, we get 3.115. Okay, now remember, we can only go out two decimal places in our coefficient. So instead of 3.11, we're going to look to that 5. We can raise that 1 up to a 2. We end up getting 3.12 times 10 to the 4 meters. All right, now how about multiplication and division when you're dealing with numbers in scientific notation? So when multiplying numbers in scientific notation, you multiply the coefficients and add the exponents. So you don't have to worry about like exponents here. When dividing numbers in scientific notation, divide the coefficient of the numerator by the coefficient of the denominator and subtract the exponents. Once again, we don't need like exponents. And to determine the sig figs is pretty easy because remember, when we multiply or divide, um, the answer has the same number of sig figs as the measurement with the least number. So let's take a look at two examples. So in that first example, 6.3 times 10 to the 8 meters times 1.2 times 10 to the 5 meters, let's multiply our coefficients. So when we multiply our coefficients on our calculator, we get something like 7.56. Now, but that has three sig figs we can only have two sig figs because 6.3 is 2, 1.2 is two sig figs. So let's round that to two sig figs. And then we got our coefficient value. So it looks like it'll be 7.6. And then we're supposed to add our exponents. What's 8 plus 5? That's 13. So we're going to get 7.6 times 10 to the 13. And the units here are going to be meter squared because it's meter times meter. Now for that second example, we're dividing. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide 8.7 by 4.2. So on my calculator, I do that. And I get a long value, but I'm just going to write down the first few digits, 2.0714, and it goes on. Now I look to those numbers. Both of those measurements have two sig figs. So my coefficient value has to have two sig figs. Well, 2.0 snow seven, so two point something, but that seven's gonna cause that zero to go up to a one. So it looks like 2.1 is gonna be my coefficient value. All right, and then I have to subtract my exponents. So six minus a negative three is really six plus three. So my exponent's gonna be nine. So 2.1 times 10 to the 9. Now notice I didn't put a, a unit here because it's meter divided by meter. The units are going to cancel out. Okay, so what I have here is I have nine problems for you to try. So what I want you to do, I want you to put these in your notes and I want you to spend some time. I want you to figure them out, see, see how you do. Either I'll put the answers up on Google Classroom or we'll go over them the next time in class.